whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form. Salamat sa inyong pagka masugtanon. Inaotunta ang mapabili na ang hiyas na subuanon diha sa inyong kinabuhi. O, hangtod. Hangtod sa kahangturan. Bitaw, magpabili na unta na ang tod karong January 20. Kaya doon ako'y ihangyo kaninyong tenan nga niya din he. Isip mo ay rektor din sa Basilika, ako lang untang ihangyo nga ampinga ninyo kanang mga payong na gigamit ninyo kaya bibaya ninyo. Brothers in Christ, we are celebrating the Feast of the Lord's Baptism. Unsaman ang kahulugan sa pulong nga bunyag. Kinsa may motubag ninyo diha. Ako na lang aron madali. Galisod ba mo tindog diha? Ya, kalinlaing baho pa inyong nasimutan. Ayaw lang mo ginawa. Kaya ko bilkaw mismo, akong rektor, may taboko gikan dito simbahan pa ingon dire. Galisod man. Oh, pero nakaambit ko sa kalisod ng inyong gibati. Akong bupon ang akong wali. Maminaw mong mayo. O di mo maminaw akong tason. Magkagwanta mong samot. <laughs> Unsa man ang kahulugan sa bunyag. Well, a good preacher and a good writer named Father Monaki Isyogo, CSSP, wrote, and I quote, the meaning of baptism can be found in the four letters of the word rice. Kumay ba na siya? Pagkaon? Ano ba? Unlimited rice sa mga inasal? Wala. Rice. R-I-C-E. Klaro. Klaro pa sa mga agtang. Gagasinaw. <laughs> R-I-C-E. Okay? Rice. R stands for rebirth. Rebirth. In baptism, we are born again by water and the Holy Spirit, and we are cleansed from original sin, and we become sons and daughters of God in a special way. So, our in baptism, we consecrate and we dedicate ourselves to seek and to spread the kingdom of God. We commit ourselves to do God's will and to live as children of God that we ought to be. That's consecration. What about E, the last letter? It stands for empowerment. In baptism, the Holy Spirit empowers us, equips us, gives us the moral strength and saying no to evil. For example, an expression to that or a concrete example to that is saying no to vote banging. To all na ang election. Looking at the baptism of Jesus by John in the river Jordan, we can say and we can see that Jesus did not need a rebirth because he was from all eternity the only begotten Son of God to promote the kingdom of God here on earth. John F. Kennedy is saying, do not ask what the country can do for you. Rather, what you can do for your country can be applied to today. This is the moment. This is the time. Now the time has come to prove to them I can make it. 
O my dear Jesus, you are our King and our God, because of your love for us, you came down from heaven, born of the Virgin Mary. My heart weeps, for in spite of your good among all men and women, enlighten the believers and the heathens, so that they will believe you as their true God. Restore the faith of those who have wandered away from you. Bring them back your fold with repentance in their hearts. Grant, Grant also to the faithful departed in purgatory, in purgatory the remission of all their sins, so that the Atumanakaparilat. Sa tanang nakatawuhan, sa mga punuan nila, ay sa pagtanaw ka dito. Kristiyano sila na dito. Na ang matahumong larawan, sa sunod sa kalag namo, Makahibong tuloy anak Ay sa tanang kinahanglan Ikaw ang amin ng nagpa Ang malamis yung meron Sa usang balay Ang patlan Kanila ikaw Nagpakita Di kanda sa iyong Tukma sa gugma My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him 
who with his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just their duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism. So that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a pupil, so that they may be comforted the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Dilvers, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace is grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Atong blitzer, no? Daghan.
Junas M. Miharis OSA Lain masibang takta ko sa pasalamat Ala ang kanina Uglabaw sa tanan Ngadto sa itong pasidunggan Na itong selebrasyon karon Ang Batang Isus Senyor Santo Niño Ang pinaka masibang takta Pasalamat Viva Pesinor Viva Pesinor Viva Pesinor! Viva Pesinor! Viva Pesinor! O Children Foundation, o ang mga, o ang dito sa mission areas na mo, ang atukura na mo, o kapilya. So, salamat daan sa mananaw, bisag one-fourth na ninyo bagon, malipay na mi kayo, din hi sa Pilgrim Center. No? Manganta mi, o kanta, nga makasayaw mo, including the songs of Bruno Mars. So um, that that one in a song, Marisi Side, is the career single of an album which I composed last year. So uh, Marisi Side, I did concerts together with Yan Constantino in 2007, then Jed Madela in 2010, and just last year I did a concert together with City and Coco Martin. So ang banda ng mudoyog namo mao tung bandaha ng mudoyog sa mung konserto. Kaniato, so see you January 26, 7 o'clock or 7 p.m. here at the Pilgrim Center. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Thank you. 